Hello, South High and Carl Ben Art Club students. Ms. Johnson and I have created this tutorial to guide you through the process of using a Google spreadsheet for our service learning project. You will soon be receiving an invite to this Google spreadsheet. Once you accept your invite via email, this is what you'll see. On the first page, labeled Teams, Ms. Johnson and I will have assigned you to a specific team. And you, as you can see, there are six teams and half of you will be South High students and half of you will be Carl Ben Eilson Middle School students. If you click on this tab below labeled Ideas, this is where you will put your lesson ideas that you have that you want to teach. So, for instance, um, I'm going to pretend that I am the famous pop art artist Roy Lichtenstein. So, I'm going to type in my first name, Roy, last name, Lichtenstein, and he is currently not in a grade. Uh, he's dead, but you can put whatever grade you are currently in. A lesson idea. Pop art bende dot self portrait. Now, if you have a great idea for this and you want to supplement the lesson with additional resources, you can include links here. So, for instance, if you find this great website um, explaining, you know, the artist and a little information about him or if you want to learn about the Bende Dots process and technique, it also includes a gallery of Roy Lichtenstein's artwork. This would be great to use. So you would copy and then click on this tab and paste into the link column. This way, other students can see this link and have access to it. If you by chance have a picture that you want to upload of an example of what the final project will look like, this is the column for that. So you click in here, you go to insert, image, choose an image to upload, and mine is on my desktop. It is a student example of a Bende dot self-portrait. Open, and it might take a while to upload. Now, if you want to take an image from a website, you can, and save it to your desktop. You could also take an image from Google Images and save it to your desktop or you can take your own picture and upload it to your desktop. Now I want to resize this so it fits nicely inside this picture column. Then if you have any comments about the project or if you want to explain why your group should teach this project, you can put that here. So for example, you could write, I think this would be a great lesson for teenagers and adults to learn a pop art technique while creating fun self-portraits. Then if you have any questions for your group, you can ask them here. For example, what do you think we should use to make the Bende dots? Erasers of pencils, paint, bubble wrap, and then they can respond to your answer here. Now, once your team has decided on a lesson idea, 
and we'll get in we'll have meetings face to face in the future but then you're going to sign up so on this sign up tab we have the dates that we will go to the Center for Adults with Disabilities and teach them an art lesson. And it'll be the same time for each date after school during our normal art club time. And for instance, if you're on team one, you'll want to sign up maybe February 2nd. All of you are available. So you would simply type in team number one. And then as you can see on March 2nd, we're going to have a big art show of all the projects that we've created. And so all teens will be required to attend the art show. If you have any questions, you can email, call, or talk to Ms. Johnson and I after school or during art club about the Google spreadsheet.